many gardeners, the patio is the entire garden. For others, it's just a small piece of the larger landscape. Either way, you may be surprised what can be accomplished in such a small space. We can apply all the elements of design that we would use in the larger landscape or in our flower beds right here on the patio to create a diverse arrangement of plants that match any grower's style. Now, most of us think of space in terms of the soil surface, but when we're working in small spaces, we have to break away from this convention. We want to utilize the vertical space in and around the patio. This not only provides us a larger area to grow plants, but also increases the complexity and diversity of the garden. Now, there are a number of ways that we can grow vertically. And perhaps the most traditional of these is the hanging basket. Petunias are probably the most popular plant grown in the hanging basket, but each year more and more selections are offered that do well in hanging baskets. Uh, for example, in the shade, you can use the wishbone flower, Turenia. You also want to think about foliage when you're selecting plants for your baskets. There are a wide variety of plants with draping and trailing foliage, such as coleus, that add color and texture to your baskets. Using trellises and other structures to support vines and climbing plants is an excellent way to lift our gardens up from the ground. You could use traditional trellises like this metal frame, or you could construct your own from a variety of materials. Here we have a unique structure built from welded metal that will make a magnificent support system for climbing plants. You can create a more rustic structure by building a trellis from fallen branches. Now many of us don't think of using grasses in the patio garden, but grasses have a lot of the elements we're looking for. Uh, they grow often very tall, and so they give us this nice vertical element without taking up a lot of space on the soil surface. There's a variety of ornamental grasses available with a number of different colored leaf blades like the purple fountain grass and many of them have interesting seed heads like this feather reed. Grasses also do well in containers and can tolerate fairly dry soils. Another way to add height to your patio is to plant in tall containers or pots raised up on pedestals or stands. When you're planting in containers, you want to think of filling the space at three levels. Select tall flowering plants or grasses like this zebra grass to fill the vertical space above the pot. You also want to use plants like this coleus that will grow at the soil surface and include trailing or vining plants like this sweet potato vine to utilize the lower space. This same three-tiered method can be applied to raised planters or beds. One last way to add some vertical height is to include a small tree or shrub around your patio. You can either plant these in small patches of soil or in containers. When selecting shrubs and other plants for our containers, you want to think about how you're going to winter the plants. Tropicals like this orange have to be moved indoors over the winter. Other perennials can survive if they're given some protection. A layer of mulch beneath some burlap can protect a number of perennials. Others you might want to move into the garage to provide a little extra protection. Next time you plan your patio garden, remember to think vertically. Climbing plants, hanging baskets, grasses and containers can all be used together to create a diverse and dynamic assemblage of plants.